Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In the last video, we learned how to create these modern looking KPI cards and in this video, I'm going to teach you how we can make them clickable. When you click on sales here, the rest of the visuals that you have on your page will display the sales value. Likewise, when you click on orders, the rest of the visuals here will display the orders value. So I'm going to teach you how to do this. So let's get started with this tutorial. In the interest of time, I have recreated these visuals. I have total sales by category. On the Y axis, you will see category and on the X axis, you will see total sales. Likewise, on the rest of the two visuals as well. So what we will now do is we will go to the modeling tab and create a new parameter. I'm going to select fields. Let's give this parameter a name. I'm just going to call this as measure underscore selection. And from my measures table, I'm going to bring in the total number of orders. And then I'm in from the sales section, I'm going to bring in total sales and make sure that I have my total sales at the top because total sales here on my card is appearing first and then the orders. And now I have total sales and total number of orders. I'm going to click on create. This is going to add a slicer on my page. So let's quickly go back and change this slicer, the default slicer here into the button slicer. Once you have the button slicer, let's head to the format tab of this slicer and make some changes. First of all, let's go into the size and style. Let's turn off the background and let's go to the title. I'm going to turn off the title here. Let's go to the slicer settings. Make sure you have single select on and also make sure to toggle force selection so that one of the value is always selected. In the next section here, which is layout, I'm going to choose single row. I have a single row here. That is why I'm selecting single row. But if you have a single column or a grid, if you have multiple KPIs, you can select that accordingly here and maximum number of buttons can be adjusted accordingly. Right now, I just have two and this is looking good. And let's head to the next section here, the callout values. I'm going to turn off the callout values because I don't want to have any of the values appearing on my slicer. And then let's quickly scroll down. Let's go to the next section here, which is buttons. In the button section, I'm going to turn off the fill because I want them to be transparent. And there's border right now that is visible. I don't want to have borders as well. So I'm going to turn off the borders as well so that I have a very clean and transparent buttons that are available here. Now, one thing to do is let me turn on the border so that I can see these buttons clearly. I will turn them off at the later stage. Now let's align these buttons here along with my KPI cards and you can see that there is some overlap that is happening here. The reason why they are not matching with each other is because we have some padding added. Remember, if you have seen my previous video where we created these KPI cards, either it's padding or the space between the KPI cards. So let's select search for space and space between the buttons. So we can play around the values here. Let me enter about 15 pixels and you still see that they're not aligned correctly. So let me increase the space between buttons here to maybe about 30 pixels. And now you can see that they are perfectly aligned. Now let me go back and turn off the border for the buttons here so that they are fully transparent. And now let's quickly select all of these three visuals here one by one. And let's go to the total sales. Instead of total sales, you will now see the parameter that we added here, which is called measure selection. I'm going to select measure selection. And you can see that total sales by category is appearing here. Likewise, we will repeat for rest of the visuals as well. I'm going to remove total sales and then head to the measure selection and select the measure selection parameter. I'm going to repeat the same here for this measure as well. Let's add the measure selection. And now I have total sales by category, total sales by region, total sales by year. Now let us say if you want to rename them, you don't want to display the underscore. So let's quickly go back into the parameter that we created and remove underscore from here, total sales. And just and let's call this as total orders instead of total number of orders. So I have total sales and total orders. Let's close this now. When I click on orders now, you will see that the rest of the visuals are now displaying the total number of orders by category, by region and by year. And when I click on sales, you will see total sales by category, total sales by region and total sales by year. This is a very cool trick that you can combine along with the modern looking KPI cards to filter your visuals based on the selection that you make from the KPI card. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.